For 13 years, I have been flying an Urkoop airplane. It's a 1946 vintage airplane, and there are clearly some limitations to taking that across the country. It cruises at about 90 miles per hour. I have to have my feet in a weird position to be able to control the airplane. So it's not the most feasible for going across the country and doing more impact and having more impact on the world and showing that disability doesn't mean inability. Now I've been flying for 13 years and I have been flying this Urkut, but I am excited to announce the new build called Project 2025. We are building an RV-10 airplane that will be custom flown with feet in the pilot and command seat, which will be the left-hand side of the airplane. And it'll be a plane that I can fly and have more impact, inspire more people and show the world that people with disabilities can in fact do wonderful things. This last summer, we were on a mission to take the Urku 4,000 miles across the country to Wisconsin and back and stop at two camps. One was at Camp Nubability, which is in DeCoin, Illinois. It's a camp for children who are, have limb loss, who have either been born without limbs or have lost their limbs. And it's a summer camp where they're exposed to all sorts of sports. We flew in, we landed at DeCoin, Pickneyville Airport, and we had the bust in, and it was the most incredible day. And then on the way back from AirVenture, we stopped in a little at a little um, place near Topeka, Kansas, where there was a camp for adults with disabilities. And we also flew the Urkoop right over their camp and waggled the wings as they all came out of the dining hall to see. So this, these were two of the most incredible highlights of the trip, was going to these two different camps to inspire people with disabilities. I didn't get to fly the long distance because of the practicality of being in that position with my legs crossed. It was gonna be very awkward to fly long distance like that. So I had a friend and my husband alternate to fly the Urkoop the 4,000 miles over the course of the six weeks. And we had all sorts of challenges because it's a vintage airplane. We had a baffle that settled, we had radio plugs that gave us an issue. We lost our brakes. Uh, the weather held us back like five days. There, We also had the tail, uh, tail issues that we had to get fixed. So there was a number of things that happened and it caused this entire trip to take us six weeks instead of what could have been six days. And six days is what it would look like if we were in the RV-10 and reaching a lot more people with disabilities. But here are some of the highlights that I wanna share with you that are what make it so difficult for me to take an Urkoop across the country. Number one, it is very precarious the way in which I have to have my legs on the controls. And so therefore I have a certain limitation of how much endurance I have in that position. So for me, I can fly just about two hours before I get really fatigued in this type of position where I have my legs crisscrossed on the controls. Um, number two, it is a vintage airplane, so we are going to experience some of these challenges that I listed off to you, the challenges of the brakes, the baffle, and obviously the headset and other issues that are going to happen because it is a 75, actually older airplane. And number three, uh, it is slower, so we can only go so far, and it's going to take a certain amount of time to get to that location. So that is a challenge, is the limitation on how far we can go, how fast we can go, and um, how many days it takes us to get there, especially with it being a fair weather airplane. So we have to have the perfect conditions for flying. When I started my flight training, I really had no idea where to start. What kind of airplane would work for me? What kind of license or cert certification would work for me? It took me like a year to find out more about the Urkoop and then another year and a half to find out about the light sports certificate, which only was passed in 2001. Well, anyway, this is a whole process that I had to do, find out by talking to people, doing some research, and it took a lot of time. So we want to create a resource for people with disabilities so that they can navigate these waters and have that kind of support. So as a result of this project, Project 2025, we also plan to create a resource for people with disabilities who would like to become a pilot, who see themselves in aviation in some capacity, and to be able to lighten the load for them so that they can be encouraged and they can be inspired to go out there and add to our aviation numbers and to become part of the community.
So we are really excited about this new adventure, the RV-10 custom build airplane. A, a plane that will be built so it can be flown from the left PIC seat, pilot and command seat, with just feet. And I am so excited about the possibilities of going from a 95 mile per hour airplane to a 200 miles per hour airplane and being able to do a lot more impact than what we did that took an entire month. Every single day, a person with a disability is being told that they can't because of their disability. I'm so tired of it and I hope that the world can understand that disability doesn't mean inability and we're going to use this custom built RV10 airplane to spread the message to more people, to inspire people with disabilities and to show the world what is possible for anyone with a disability. And when I fly to different destinations, I'll be able to reach out to companies, to employers, to show them that people with disability are just as capable or even more capable in some ways of achieving great things. I'm excited about this possibility but I need your help I need your help to be make this a reality it's gonna cost three hundred thousand dollars to build this RV 10 we're gonna need design de um, different designs for the custom controls we're gonna need a whole team behind this project to make project 2025 a reality and show the world that disability doesn't mean inability